What's up ballers? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about confidence on the ball and what you can do to improve it. Let's go. First and most importantly, your thought process and consistency is what dictates your confidence on the ball. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't have control over your thoughts, you're going to struggle. Let's say you're in a game, you're making a few passes, everything is going well, and then all of a sudden you mess up and your teammates are yelling at you. Now a player that doesn't have confidence will end up struggling in this scenario. They'll end up thinking that they're a bad player or that their teammates are mad at them. Whereas a confident player will see this as a learning opportunity. They'll realize that mistakes are part of the process and they'll always think about the next step. Second, your consistency and quality of training determines your confidence on the ball as well. If you do the preparation that's necessary in order to execute on the field, you'll feel much more comfortable and confident in your ability. Those that don't put the time into training are going to fail and it's going to show on the field. Third, mental training and visualization. I want you guys to picture yourself in a game going through in-game scenarios so that when these times and moments come, you'll feel more prepared for them. Imagine that you're a center back. You're about to receive the ball. You check over your shoulder and you see that there's space to drive into. You take your touch with the instep of your foot, forward into space, and break lines with a low driven pass. I encourage you guys to just take the time and think about what stresses you about the game. What in-game scenarios make you panic? And think about these before the game so that when the time comes, you're not surprised, you're prepared. <music> Lastly, recognition. Realize that it's okay to have a little bit of fear on the ball. It's okay to have fear before you take a shot. It just shows that you value success and that you value the next play. But you have to learn to control this fear. You can't let it overwhelm you or else it's just going to take a toll on your performance. So don't push the fear away. Learn to control it and learn to enjoy the moment and enjoy the process. Come here, bravo. Thank you guys for watching. Please like it. Ugh. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.